You are watching Tutor Midge. For today's topic, let us learn how to solve problems involving sets using Venn diagram. So, ito na yung part 2. Tatlong set ang involved. Okay? So, ano ang problem? These are the following enrollment data in a special performing art class. So, ano ba yung mga given? Meron tayong 200 students enrolled in special performing arts class, denoted as U. So, ito yung universal set. 54 are inclined in singing, denoted as S. 84 are inclined in dancing, denoted as D. 70 are inclined in painting, denoted as P. 30 are both inclined in singing and painting, denoted as S, intersection P. Oh, take note of the symbol. 36 are inclined in dancing and singing, so we have D, intersection S. 40 are inclined in painting and dancing, so that is P, intersection D. And 20 are all inclined into three performing arts. S, intersection D, intersection P. Questions. So we have A, how many are into singing only? B, how many are into dancing only? C, how many are into painting only? D, how many students are both inclined in singing and dancing but not painting? E, how many students are both inclined in painting and dancing but not singing? F, how many students are both inclined in singing and painting but not dancing? G, how many students are both inclined into either singing or dancing? H, how many students are both inclined into either dancing or painting? I, how many students are both inclined into either singing or painting? And J, how many students are not into any of the three performing arts? Para mas maunawaan, uh, gamit tayo ng Venn Diagram. Okay, so ito na yung ating Venn Diagram. So take note, when drawing, kailangan natin may rectangle muna para masabing ito yung ating universal set. Yung nasa loob niya, buong yun ay magiging universal set natin. Okay? So, paano ba simulan ito? Ang kailangan natin i-check ay yung intersection ng tatlong set. Okay, so we have 20 are all inclined into 3 performing arts. Ibig sabihin, asan ba yung part kung saan nag intersect yung singing, dancing, and painting? So, ito yon. Kasi, ibig sabihin, gusto nila ng singing, gusto nila ng dancing, gusto rin nila ng painting. Okay, so dito natin lalagay yung 20. So, dito tayo magsisimula para masagot natin palabas yung laman ng ating universal set. Next is 40 are inclined in painting and dancing. Etong part na ito, yan, ang ating painting and dancing. Take note of the word and intersection. So, imaminus lang natin itong nasa gitna na 20 para makuha natin yung sagot. At dito natin ilalagay. Okay? So, yan na yung 20. Next one, 36 are inclined in dancing and singing. So, saan parte yung dancing and singing? Ito yun. Yan. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, same pa rin, 36 minus natin yung 20 sa gitna. Yung makukuha, ibig sabihin, dito natin lalagay. Okay? Next, 30 are both inclined in singing and painting. So, saan yung singing and painting? Ito yung tinutukoy na part. So, I-minus rin lang natin yung 20 dito sa gitna. So, we have 10 for this part. Okay? Now, we have 70 are inclined in painting. So, 70 lahat daw sa paint, uh, na may gusto ng painting ay 70. So, we are going to subtract itong intersection. Kasi, o para malaman natin yung... Uh, maiiwan na lang. Ilan na ba di ko na dito? So, we have only 20. Next one, 84 are inclined in dancing. Okay, so 84 are inclined in dancing. Ito yun. Isusubtractin natin yung mga intersection 16, 20, and 20. Yung makukuha, ilalagay lang natin dito sa part na to. Okay, so that is 28. Next, 54 are inclined in singing. So, yung buong S, yun ang tinat sinasabi nating 54 ang laman. Okay. So, isubtract din natin yung 16 
20 and 10 para makuha natin yung part. Okay, dito. So, that is now 8. Okay. So, yung itong una yung huli, we have 200 students enrolled in special performing arts. Diba? Ang universal set, laman niyang buo ito. So, ibig sabihin, anong gagawin natin? Isusubtract lang natin yung union ng S, D, and P. So, lahat ng laman ng S, D, and P, subtract natin from 200. Okay? Para makuha natin yung value ng X. Yung X, yun yung hindi kasali sa singing, dancing, and painting. So, that is now 200 minus is ilagay na natin lahat yung mga alaman na naisulat natin. We have 8, 20, 10, 16, 28, 20, and 20. Subtract natin lahat itong mga to. Okay? So, anong magiging sagot? We have 78. Ibig sabihin, 78 yung may ayaw sa singing, dancing, and painting. O yung iba ang in-enroll. Okay, now ready na tayong sumagot. How many are into singing only? Only. O, oh, yung nasa labas lang. So, ibig sabihin, walang ka-intersection. Ang singing only natin ay, eto, eight. Ayan. How many are into dancing only? So, dancing only. Ibig sabihin, walang ka-intersection. Eto siya, 28. Okay, letter C. How many are into painting only? Okay, so ito yung 20. Napakadali, ba? Next, how many students are both inclined in singing and dancing but not painting? Okay, singing and dancing but not painting. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kasaling nasa gitna kasi may painting yun. So, 16 ang ating magiging sagot. Ayan, so lagay na lang natin dito. Oops. Ayan. Next, letter E. How many students are both inclined in painting and dancing but not singing? Oh, painting and dancing but not singing. Tatanggalin din natin yung 20 doon. So, pwede na natin i-shade itong 20. Pero kung gusto mo pa rin makita kung saan siya galing, that is 40 minus 20. Of course, equals 20. Yan. Next one, letter F. How many students are both inclined in singing and painting but not dancing? Singing and painting but not dancing. So, ganun din. Tatanggalin rin natin yung intersection na 20. Okay, so 30 minus 20 equals 10. Or sa madaling sabi, yung nandito na part. Yun ang sagot. Okay? Next, letter G. How many students are both inclined into either singing or dancing? Ngayon, or naman. Lahat yun. Ibig sabihin, sasalin natin. Okay? Pag or kasi, yun yun ang sinasabi. Yun yun ang ibig sabihin. Okay? So, we have the formula for that. S union D is S plus D minus the intersection. Yung dito sa gitna kasi nadodoble siya. Of S and D. Pero, pwede rin naman natin siyang i-add up na lang kasi shaded naman na siya. ba? Yung 8 plus 10 plus 20 plus 16 plus 28 plus 20, ito'y equal pa rin sa 102. Okay? So, yun yung gamit ni Venn diagram para hindi ka na nagsosolve. How many students are both inclined into either dancing or painting? Dancing, painting. So, the same pa rin kung solution ang hinahanap, D union P, D plus P minus yung intersection nila. Okay? Kapag given na yung mga S, D, and P, madali na rin siyang sagutin. So, given naman dito. Pero, pinapakita ko lang dito kung paano ba gamitin si Venn diagram. Okay? So, dito, pwede naman natin i-add up. Makukuha pa rin natin na 114. At mas madali pang proseso. Next, I. How many students are both inclined into either singing or painting? Ayan. Ganun pa rin yung process. S, union P, equals S plus P minus intersection of S and P. Okay? Yan. Ima-minus lang yung nasa gitna para hindi maulit. So, kapag in up rin lang naman natin itong mga nandito, yan, equal pa rin siya sa 94. Okay? J, how many students are not into any of the three performing arts? Kulayan mo na yung labas. 
automatic yun na yung magiging sagot. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila kasali doon sa singing, dancing, and painting. So, that is now 78. Yun ang ating sagot. So, kapag solution ang hinahanap, that is universal set or U minus S union D union P. Ito na ang summary ng ating mga sagot na way may naintindihan sa araw na ito. So, please do like, share, and subscribe. Hit na rin ang ating notification bell for more tutorial videos. Have a blessed day! Like and subscribe! Tutor Meds! Happy learning!